Mario Kart. The Mario Kart series has been around since the SNES, starting with Super Mario Kart and with the latest game on the Nintendo Switch being Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And with the speculation saying that Nintendo is going to be dropping a new console towards the end of next year. Considering that it had sold over 50 million copies overall in the lifespan of the Nintendo Switch. And it also being the latest game in the series on a console which dropped in 2017. Regardless of it being a game since 2014 on the Wii U. It's safe to say that Nintendo's biggest series would be the Mario Kart series. So it definitely makes sense that they're going to be releasing a new Mario Kart game on the new Switch, possibly as like a launch title game, which I would honestly be super stoked for. But regardless, we've seen numerous characters uh, inside the Mario Kart series, whether it's neglected ones, some always returning, and obviously just there being some random collapse within the Nintendo series like Link and Isabelle, for example. It's definitely a plus when they decide to add characters from old Mario games inside like the Mario world and then they decide to bring like new faces inside the Mario Kart series. So I thought it would be fun today to do a top 10 video discussing characters that I would love to see inside Mario Kart. Whether it's this one, like the most upcoming one, or just later on in the future, possibly on Mario Kart Tour and things like that. But I'm going to try to keep it inside the Mario world. And if you guys want to see another list of like five or ten characters that i would love to see from nintendo uh just let me know in the comments let me know what you guys would put down in the comments below like your personal preference and if you guys just want to see more videos like this please make sure to leave a like comment subscribe and let's just start on with the list coming in at number 10 is toadsworth so toadsworth is simply just an elderly toad but he hasn't had an appearance in any mario game since 2013 and instead of them giving him an appearance in the mario movie we got the general toad instead which was kind of a disappointment for me, but I just think it's time for him to make a return. Coming in at number 9, we have Professor Egad. So Professor Egad's been a character since Luigi's Mansion 1 on the GameCube, which was released back in like 2001 or so. But he's had a few other appearances from other games. Uh, one that I can recall would be Mario Party, I believe it was 6 or 7. They gave him like a whole board which was kind of cool and then his most recent appearance being on Luigi's Mansion 3 but apart from that you don't really hear about him much and you don't see him as often and it's kind of shocking that they haven't decided to give him his own like character in Mario Kart so I feel like it would be nice to see him in the game. Now for number 8 we have Cappy. So for those that don't know who Cappy is uh, he's from Super Mario Odyssey. He's just the hat that Mario has to control which gives him like the powers to shape shift and become like other objects such as like the Goomba or the Bullet Bill whenever you would play Odyssey so he's just a really cool and interesting character and it obviously made uh, Super Mario Odyssey like that much more memorable and enjoyable with that little factor that you could just become random things so we haven't seen him since the game so it's just it'd be better for them to not neglect him like other characters in the series and just kind of keep him and bring him as a character in Mario Kart. And if they do decide to bring in Cappy, they could also bring in Tiara as like a secondary character, which is just Cappy's sister. So that'd be another cool uh, like additional character for them to add to the roster. Now for number seven on the list, we have Luma. So Lumas are a lot more known than other characters in this list, but I feel like it would be cool for a Luma to have its independence and not just be stuck behind like the assistant to Mario and Galaxy and then is like rosalina's partner in like the super smash bro series so i think it would be cool for them to have their own character in mario kart as like a racer and then they could even throw in the rose or the luma from the super mario bros movie that way you could see it as like a secondary color and that one's for the people that know the luma that way so at number six we have the brutals also known as Spewer, Topper, Rango, and Harriet. They're the four siblings that they kind of basically were like the main villains of the Super Mario Odyssey series. And they were just like fresh new villains into the game. And it was nice to see them. It was just kind of sad to not see them for that long. But like they were just really iconic characters. They were new. Uh, they're not seen anymore after Odyssey. And it would just be nice to see them in Mario Kart. And then they could even throw in all four of them as like either just like as a one set character and you choose between them or just put one uh, like individually. But I think it would be cool to see them again. While we're discussing fresh like new characters, there's one that that's always like stuck with me as a kid that I've never forgotten about. 
and would hope to see him again. And that's MC Ballyhell from Mario Party 8. So he wasn't necessarily a really complicated or like um, important character. He was just like the host for the Star Carnival for that game. But you don't see him or hear about him ever since that game. So I think it would be nice to finally see him making another appearance. And then just as his own character in Mario Kart. Coming in at fourth, we have the Piantas or the Pianta people. So the Pianta people, they come from Super Mario Sunshine, which was released on the GameCube, which they did have a recent appearance in 3D All-Stars, which is just like a a port to the Switch. And they have had appearances in Super Mario Baseball, but I just think it would be nice to see them actually in Mario Kart and kind of have them come back into the like the series just rather than being from like another appearance from like an old game being ported over. So that's just my take. Uh, my take. Taking the third spot would be the Koopa General from the Mario movie, also known as the Blue Shell Koopa or just the Blue Koopa. So everybody knows who the Blue Shell Koopa is just from Mario Kart the game, which is obviously where it would be nice to see him in the game because we already have Koopas where we could throw a green shell, a red shell, and we have the Koopas to go with the colors. So I just think it would be smart for them to kind of throw in the blue shell and have him as like a driver too so that way it's just a little ironic if he gets hit by it so i think that would be a cool uh addition to the game now at number two we have spike so spike's an old nemesis of mario and luigi but he hadn't been kind of heard of until recently with the movie because he was just an old character that they had not really like paid much attention to but like since he's kind of getting brought back into the series i think it would be a cool uh, uh, character for them to just throw in there and then have him kind of come back slowly so that's what i would put at number two on this list and finally for number one on our list we have prince florian so prince florian is the ruler of the flower kingdom in super mario bros wonder and obviously he's like the main character that's going to be alongside mario and and the group so i think it would be smart for them to throw him in mario kart i think it would be a fun idea for them to just start having like other characters being added into the game and obviously this list isn't like labeled from 10 to 1 as like my strongest opinions on who i want to see in the game it's just more a, a list of characters that i would love to see just being added in so let me know what you guys think of the list let me know what you guys would comment down below on like who you want to see in the game and then just let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this i could do a list of like nintendo characters that I would like to see in the game. I could do a list of variations of characters like the Elephant Mario. It would be cool to see him in the game. But uh, regarding that, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think down below. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next videos.